Man, I want to lose all this weight fast. <laughs> but it's too much effort. Ta da! Today we are going to talk about the lazy girl or lazy people guide to living a healthier life, losing your body fat and your weight. If you see yourself making excuses every time you need to start working on your fitness, it's too hot outside. I don't have to start today. Whoa, that gym membership is way too expensive. I think I'll start working out at home soon. Oh, workout alarm. I need to finish this first. Workout can wait. If you related to any of those clips, then watch this video. So today I really want to help all those who want to see themselves fitter, but without feeling like it is the most painful thing to do in the world. I want you to enjoy the process. Watch all the points that I'm showing you in today's video and you will want to get off that couch. Welcome to Blush With Me. The first tip is going to get you hooked into this video because it is as simple as sleeping more. Sleep. Your phone can be very distracting and much as you may decide to wake up early to work out, but having that phone in your hand till late night has a real impact on your health and on your well-being. Talk can wait, Instagram can wait, blush with me Parmita on YouTube can wait. Oh, I was totally kidding about that part if you're watching blush with me then continue to watch, but make sure you sleep early. The blue light emitted by your cell phone screen restrains the production of melatonin. It is that hormone that controls your sleep-wake cycle. This makes it even more difficult for you to fall asleep and wake up the next day. Number two, do not set very high goals that are unattainable or something that can demotivate you if you cannot complete it or something that tires you too much. Start small and just get moving. Here's something important I recently learned while I was listening to a book called Motivation Myth by Jeff Hayden on Blinkist. It said that maybe you have seen other people achieve their goals and assume that maybe they have more willpower, more grit or more motivation to realize their dreams. But as it turns out, the idea of motivation is a magical spark that leads to hard work is a myth. Motivation actually is a result of small victories that slowly fuel your success. It is not a requirement for success itself. It only comes when you start noticing success in small ways. Which one of these two are more likely to stay motivated? The first one, I am so motivated to lose weight. I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. I'm going to run five miles. I'm going to do 500 crunches every day. Or the second one, Okay, so I walked for about 15 minutes, which I never do. I also walked around the house while I was emailing instead of sitting on a couch. And I avoided that fourth cup of coffee. So I have never done that before. This seemed pretty simple. I think I can keep up with this. I agree too, the second one, right? If you two are interested in the book that I just mentioned, then you too can listen to it on Blinkist. Yes, I said, Listen, I listen to a lot of books on Blinkist. I know that sometimes you want to read books, but you just don't have the time. If you ever just want to be a better version of yourself, if you want to be more confident, more knowledgeable, want to be more inspired to learn something more, then that is where Blinkist app comes in. Blinkist takes top nonfiction titles and condenses them into 15 minute text and audio explainers that are called Blinks. You can use these blinks to learn about a variety of topics like personal growth, health, nutrition, creativity, culture, parenting. I learn a lot about parenting. Investments, philosophy, history, science. I mean, you get the idea. You have thousands of titles and 27 categories of the world's best knowledge to choose from. Blinkist gives you the knowledge you need in the time you actually have. In 15 minutes, sometimes I have read or listened to these blinks while doing dishes, or while I'm in a grocery store, or while I'm working out. I use these blinks to get inspiration, learn more about the books that I would like to read next. I broaden my knowledge, I get new perspectives on some of these topics. And today, since we are talking about lazy people's guide to living a healthier life, and if you are someone who procrastinates or puts off important tasks, 
until the last second, then you will really enjoy this book called The Now Habit. There's also a book called Grain Brain that shares surprising truths about wheat, carbs and sugar and how what we eat can affect your brain health including anxiety and depression. It gives you a ton of information on nutrition and keeping your brain sharp in less than 15 minutes. Even before going to bed, instead of staring at your screen, it is so much easier to listen to these blinks in a podcast style. And if you are looking for full-length audiobooks, then Blinkist has them too. And that's not it. They also have something known as short cast. They've teamed up with popular podcast creators to blink those for you too. So you can get the heart of a podcast episode fast. Think of these as the shortened version of a podcast. I listened to an audiobook while I was hiking for about two hours and I did not even realize how much I had walked. How's that for a motivation tip for lazy people? I am not surprised why there are over 14 million active users who are using Blinkist right now. If you have decided to become a Blinkist member, then get this special offer. Premium subscribers get special a member price, which is up to 65% off on their regular retail price. I said 65% off, that's huge. The seven day trial is completely free and you can cancel anytime during that period. You will find the link in my description below. Thank you Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Time for tip number three. Don't underestimate the power of Selfies. These photographic evidences or fitness selfies give you a better idea than taking measuring tape and measuring yourself to see how much weight or inches you have lost or how you look after your workouts. Seeing the photos or even videos will give you a better picture of how far you have come, making you stay more committed to your workouts than Netflixing. Tip number four. Notice how one change can bring multiple benefits. That 15 minutes of walk that you started, now this can have multiple benefits. It can be more powerful than you can even imagine. Some of you may notice reduction in your stress. Bloating in your belly goes down. Migraine pains get better. You fit into those jeans that you always wanted to. Your mood is better. You are happier. Tip number five, invest in a fitness tracker. Now I have an Apple Watch and with this, I can track my performance and push myself to achieve more, either to burn more calories or finish a certain workout while keeping my heart rate to a certain number. I recently got my son a Fitbit. So I send both my boys to run early morning, every morning, and they used to run a certain number of laps that I asked them to. But ever since I got one of them, his fitness tracker, he has better goals. He wants to cross that 7K steps mark. Then he wants to increase it to 10K mark without me asking him to do so. Sometimes he tries to run the same distance while reducing his timing. That means he's trying to run faster. Sometimes at the end of the day when we feel like there are still like a thousand, two thousand steps left on the watch to meet that 10K mark, then we both just head out for a small walk to make sure we complete our daily goal. We hang out together, chat together, so it doesn't even feel like an effort to complete a daily fitness goal. These next few tips are very, very simple, so listen to them. The sixth tip is to make sure to watch a couple of fitness videos every day or to save the ones that you really like to a playlist either on Instagram or on YouTube. For instance, when I watch a fitness video right before going to bed, it gets me very excited about jumping out of my bed in the morning and heading straight to finish my workout first thing in the morning. Sometimes on vacations, you can feel lazy to work out. This is when I check out my saved playlist, my video playlist for beach workouts. Watching these videos will instantly change your mindset. Tip number seven, create a workout playlist and listen to it when you are about to give up on workout. Music is amazing. It distracts you from any kind of pain or fatigue and it elevates your mood. It increases your endurance. It reduces your perceived effort to promote your performance and efficiency during a workout. Studies have found that listening to music with certain beats increases the electrical activity in the regions of your brain that are responsible for coordinating movements. You will notice that when you listen to music, you can run farther. If you swim, then you will swim faster. You can do more number of repetitions in any kind of workout. Tip number eight. 
Drink more water. This is probably one of the easiest ways, just like sleeping more, to stay motivated to lose weight faster. When you are dehydrated, your body produces cortisol. It produces more cortisol, which is the stress hormone. This affects your motivation to exercise, how you cook at home, or even to make better food choices. When you are hungry, your first impulse is to find food. Thirst can also be mistaken for hunger by your brain. You may be able to decrease your appetite by drinking water. So increase your water consumption. Now listen to this point number nine with a little bit more focus because practically this is where a lot of people give up but change the way you're thinking and the way you're seeing your workout process. The first step in any process turns out to be the hardest one. For example, even though you may be passionate about running, there are some days when it is the last thing that you want to do. It is just that you have to get through the first mile of stiff legs or that cold air or the hot sun before your endorphins kick in and you will actually start to feel proud of your ability to excel and your ability to continue improving when you get out of the house each morning. So remember to focus on what you enjoy about that activity or how it makes you feel stronger. I know a lot of you will relate to this one. It's just about changing your perception and seeing a different side of the same workout. Now the tip number 10 is super fun. Go shopping for some fun athleisure outfits. I personally do not get very excited about walking around all day in my workout clothes. But athleisure clothes have a more stylish take on your workout clothes. Instead of walking out in workout clothes or walking out in high heels, if you have really cute sneakers, some statement leggings, bright jackets, or even an oversized white shirt with some accessories, you will enjoy walking out in style and you will actually land up walking a lot more than you would in heels. Even when it comes to working out in the gym, expand your workout wardrobe. Your faded leggings or sports bra that doesn't fit you as well as it once did or those worn out shoes, they are not going to get you excited about working out. But when you look good in trendy workout clothes, you naturally feel more driven to going to the gym. It is a positive approach that works. This is when you don't even have to focus on your clothes at all. You're basically just thinking of having fun and looking good while losing weight. Your fitness and good health is about your mindset. Some of the tips that I shared with you today will help you change your mindset and you will soon realize that fitness is not just about your weight. For some of you, it can improve your mental health or your physical flexibility or have better stamina or develop more physical strength. Last but not the least, try to avoid using these words, I do not have time. These tips really do work and frankly, they are pretty simple to execute, not just for lazy people, but also for busy people. These tips will get you excited about working out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It is open to all of you to share your tips too. So if you have any suggestions for topics, then please write to me. Talking about topics, it's been a while since I shared a face yoga video. So that's coming up soon. Let me know which facial area is your concern and I'll be sure to share more videos. For all those who had been asking me about my group face yoga classes, then those sessions are starting soon. September 5th is the date, mark the date. The link is below. You can even reach my team at info at blushwithme.com. Just write to me, reach out to me on my website. There are so many ways to reach me, my team, so you can get all the answers to join any of these sessions, either one-on-one -on -one or the group sessions with me. If the tips in this video got you excited about working out, then make sure you hit this like button that you see right below this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, comment below this video and share this video with your friends. I post content apart from YouTube too, so it's a good idea to follow me on Instagram, my Facebook fan page, TikTok and my Amazon storefront. Try your favorite three tips from this video and get off that couch or your work desk to make some time to work out. I will see you next week. Until then, blush with me.